Hmm. Welcome to Amp Test Tuesday. Hey Jaber, come here real quick. I got a question for you. This is 100% totally unscripted, I swear to God. If you were to like go to the store and see this amp, how much power do you think it puts out? Just by looking at it. You see it on the shelf. 770, what it says. Well, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, from working here, I would think probably maybe a little less, but. All right, know. but I'm just saying, you know, just if you were at the store and you were getting ready to buy an amp and you were looking for some power, and you saw this thing sitting there, what would you think? 770 watts. Okay, well that's max power, so that's basically P. Well, I mean, I don't really know. Yeah, see, there you go. He, does, he just doesn't know. All right, well, it's actually a 500 watt amp. I'm pretty sure it says 500 watts RMS somewhere in here. 500 watts RMS at two ohms, 14 volts, 1%. 770 max at 10% THD. So basically, they're not really lying, but they are making the 770 look big and bold. But inside the book, they're saying 500 watts, so I guess that's okay. But other than the fact that they put a big 770 on the front. But let's see if it at least does rate it inside the book, 500 watts. Setting the gain. Bring it down to about 10 dB. No distortion. We're ready to go. Frequency at what I think is around 80 something hertz, I'm not sure. Goes from 70 to 160. Normally I would just throw a CC1 on that but there's really no need for that at this point bass boost all the way down gain exactly where it should be for minus 10 dB and back to the stats I don't have my instruction booklet for this I don't know where it's at but I don't really need it power output 500 watts RMS CEA 2006 14 volts 1% THD 770 max somebody like Jaybird over there would see the 770 and be all over that but as long as it, you read the book and it tells you what the actual RMS is, I can't fault it that much. So let's see if it actually does rate it. Alright everybody always wants to see the fuses that's on the side to determine whether or not it could even possibly do its numbers. And uh, I think this thing has two 25 amp fuses on board. So theoretically it should be able to do around 500 watts. I mean that doesn't really always mean anything. But for the higher brand companies, the more reputable ones, it should be pretty close. So let's go ahead and run this certified test. Two ohms, enter. Track four. There we go. Nice. Seven seventeen certified. That's awesome. We're going to go to non-certified, which is stops the test at clipping instead of 1% distortion.
828 watts very nice we're gonna go to dynamic burst RMS So there you have it everybody, the JBL passed the test and then some, got to give it some love. This test was so quick and easy, I'm going to go ahead and drop this thing down to 12 volts and see what it does just on a basic battery with the car not running. The reason amplifier companies rate them at 14.4 volts is because that's how much power most cars put out while the alternator is turning. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. To me a 12 volt rating really, it's good and all, but with the car off, I mean it doesn't really doesn't really matter when your car is running and you're driving on the street is the number I'm always looking for but 12 volts is also pretty respectable so let's see what it does at a basic 12 volts I'm gonna have to move my power supply over to the 12 volt bank all right I got it on the 12 volt bank now time to turn it all on we'll go certified So I'm just hanging out over here editing this video on these little monitors behind me and I realized that I'm missing a clip and that's the 12 volt non-certified mode. Well, I have no idea where it's at. Uh, the camera died earlier and I must have lost the clip then and didn't notice it. But um, we're looking at 658 watts for non-certified up to clipping for the 12 volt mode. So let's go ahead and cut back into the video and I'll show you the dynamic RMS and we'll have final numbers. One last test. Six hundred and sixty two watts on that. Got to give respect to the JBL amp. It's an outstanding amp. I would definitely recommend this to somebody. Matter of fact, somebody that saw 770 max on the box is actually going to get over 700 in certified mode up to 1% distortion. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, Jaybird, you didn't get ripped off this time, man. <laughs> yeah.